Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we discovered that Sayaka's body had been moved. Where it has been moved to, I have no idea. I'm guessing it's just been incinerated or something, and Makoto was heading to the dining hall to tell the rest of the students that. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go get you and drag you back here! Taka, have some empathy, buddy, please! S sorry. Hmm. Hmm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> Taka! But, uh, no! That's fucked up! I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on. Thank you, Mondo. Even Mondo agrees with me. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Had the scratch marks on the walls and floor been cleaned up? I hadn't actually paid any attention to that. Ooh. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there, with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. M Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up! Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So, everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Oh, Hina! <laughs> Byakuya. Byakuya, don't, don't do this. Don't do this! Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? Huh? Hm. We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, b because Sayaka made the first move! Ugh, these two! Well... B but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Yaku, yeah, you're a bitch. Don't, don't you talk to Hina like that. She's my joint favorite. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. What do you mean? Are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then... Then, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no Chihiro! See, Byaku, you are, you are scaring Chihiro! Don't do that! No. What? Don't, don't you talk to Chihiro like that! No what? I... I can't take it. Oh, sweet pea! I forgot about this 
sequence. I, I blanked it out of my mind because I don't like seeing Chihiro sad. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. She has a point. Yeah, if we hadn't have voted for him, we would have all died. But then at least we would have died not having become murderers. We voted for him to die. That's... It, it's not exactly great. But... B but... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you keep that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Uh... Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. That is a very good point. Again, I, I mentioned this the first time around. I wonder what would have happened if we'd have refused to vote. Because Monokuma, for as, as twisted and evil as he clearly is, I'd put him, if I were to give him an, an alignment, I'd put him on lawful evil. He seems very obsessed with rules and society demands that you be punished because you broke the rules. And I wonder if, how do I explain this? I wonder if it would have become a Hunger Games situation. At the end of the first Hunger Games, um, oh God, I, literally I read the book, the first book, and I couldn't really get into it. I read the entire thing, but it I never bothered to read the, the next ones and I never watched the film. I can't remember what the main character is called, but the main girl and the main guy, the people running the Hunger Games basically say, if the two of you can get to be the last one standing, then we'll let you both live. They are, and then they get told, no, 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 we actually lied. You two now have to fight to the death. And the main girl and the main guy basically pick some poisonous berries and say, I, if this is what you want us to do, will deny you a victor. We'll both take these poisonous berries. Fuck all of yours. And just as about they're about to put it into their mouths, the people running the show are like, oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, we were, j we were just joking, just joking. You're joint winners. Come on out, you reet. I wonder if something like that would have happened or if it, it would have just ended with, and everyone dies. I'm not sure if we'll ever learn that. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Even when he's mocking us, he's throwing in the bear puns. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. 
Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah. Uh, what was that about just now? Uh, was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit! Who does he think he is? Ugh. And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Chapter 2, Boy's Life of Despair. I don't like the fact that Byakuya is on this screen. I don't like him. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. I laughed so much when I saw this the first time around. I thought this was fucking adorable. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Taka, I love you. Now reach way up. And bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Uh? I'm with you, Makoto. <sighs> ah, doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. <sighs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So? Why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Mm. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry! Now if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist! <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours! Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter! Oh, no shit, whoops! <laughs> this is Makoto speaking, not Monokuma, whoopsie! It doesn't matter, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not! You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then I think this is actually where I got up to. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking familiar to me anymore. This right now, here's where I'm blind. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You mean a, a new fantastic point of view? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So, go ahead, look around all you want, enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. 
Ooh. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But... A new world? Could it be... Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look! Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating! When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found! You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that. And Byakuya, you're basically a bitch. I'm- I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm annoying you with this, but I don't care, I don't like him. I'm gonna keep on doing this. Got it! More like a staple food source! Now let's get moving! Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Except for us, do we have... Uh, was that? Yeah, that was the thing to look around. Okay, so it really is just the cameras. Are they always watching us? Don't they ever get tired of it? Jeez, it took everything I had just to think about mocking them. Mm. And over here. Again, I'm just looking for Monokuma coins. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now, it's just showing the school crest. If I break it, Monokuma might come and punish me. Yeah, let's let's avoid that. Okay. Yeah, let's leave. What can we find? Hmm. Hello, hero. What the heck? What? Hey, Makoto! Did you see what's inside the display case? Bad! This is super bad, man! What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye it's nothing, but this is awful! A bad, awful, terrible trap! For serious? That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message! Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, I've been struck with knowledge! It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin! Let me out of here! Let me out of here! Let me out! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Yeah, yeah, let's... Inside the display case are trophies and other items. Winning championships and stuff probably came naturally to anyone going to school here. I'm guessing he means these things? I'm guessing? Because I, I seem to remember Makoto saying that this stuff was... It, it wasn't normal stuff you'd find in a, a school display case. Hmm. Yeah, just... Oh! I'd love to just smash the stupid thing, but who knows what would happen to me if I did. Pain. Pain would happen to you. Buddy, no, let's not. Yeah, let's leave. Doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Oh, hello. Got it! Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has opened up. You hear me? But it's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. Oh, Taka. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school to you. Taka, bless you, Taka. T he, he tries. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Let's head up. Ooh. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. 
Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Ooh, can we? What does the map look like? Ooh! A girl's bathroom. Um, what's... Okay, so that's a classroom. That's a library, aha! That's class 2B. I want to see, that's an archive. What's what's that up there? The the rectangle thing. Uh, let's. No, that's not what it's esque. I always get that confused. There we go. What? There's a pool. Hello. Oh, just a second. Y yeah, I I see you, Owie. But there's like a Gatlin gun thing right behind your head, and I find that concerning. Oh, Makoto! Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, pool, pool! Y you don't have to keep repeating it. I, I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Y yeah, you're, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Well, she, she's just found a pool and she is the ultimate swimming pro or swimming star. Whatever. Ooh, that's, that's the girls. Let's not go near that. <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think she's joking. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um no. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Same. Same girl, neither do I. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... But still, it sounds like the locker rooms have... Oh, excuse me. Like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. Oh, Chihiro. You want to get stronger? I have to say that's kind of unexpected. She is in a murder school. She might need to defend herself. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um... It's not that I don't want to, it's just... Uh... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia though. No, I I get that. I get that. I wouldn't want to go into a gym because I don't know what I'm doing in gyms. I'd look like a complete twat. She, she doesn't want to look like that. Aw, sweetheart. Uh, hello? It looks like one of those lifesaver flotation donuts. Yes! Give me the money! And we got floats. There are a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. Yes! I want all of the coins! Is that... a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? It's in case any of... In case anyone tries to go into the, the locker room they ain't meant to be going into. I, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to figure that out. Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really? Ooh. What? If you want to unlocker the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh-huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, 
only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity! Yeah, that's... I was gonna say, that's what the Gatling gun's for. See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yahoo! And it'll be all dunga 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 Just a second. I bet it'd really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um... Um, no, I, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ah! What? That never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish! Hmm? Hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited! <laughs> there! So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's cause my brain is a hundred percent cotton! Honestly... I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! <laughs> oh god, Monokuma, no! It's cause all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs! You're at that age, you try humping a plastic bottle! So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch! <laughs> then, in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> oh, Why? Why do these conversations happen with the bear? I don't like it. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes, yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Uh, no. Just the worst. Yeah, I agree with Hina. I hate you so much. See ya later. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! <sighs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it. Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. Huh? How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. No, I'm I'm with Hina on this one. I used to love swimming. I adored it. However, if you haven't seen any of my video updates or my um channel trailer, I dye my hair unnatural colours and if you jump into a chlorinated pool with unnatural hair dye on your hair, you're going to be getting out of the pool with no colour. <laughs> Chlorine strips hair dye, it really does, so uh, I can't swim anymore. <laughs> Sad times. Yeah, let's let's leave the area. Oh, I, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say about that. Shit. I had a thought and it has gone. Oh well, it'll, it'll probably come to me later, and if not, when I'm editing the video, I can just pause right here and say what I was gonna say. Uh, this is a girl's bathroom, this is a boy's bathroom. Why not? 
Oh, okay. Anything? Okay. Uh, hello? This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. That was what I was gonna say! There it, it had nothing to do with bathroom cleaning supplies. The new rule, no one can loan their e-handbook to anyone. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. Doesn't say anything about stealing. It doesn't say anything about you can't steal someone's e-handbook. Doesn't say you can't meddle with someone's e-handbook. It's, it's a nice rule in theory, but... You know, it, it leaves a lot open. Ooh. Okay, so that's that's a staircase going up. More boarded up windows. So, okay, the library is where we're supposed to be going. So my timer has gone. However, I'm inclined just to check out this. Just to see what's going on with uh, Sakura. Esk and Esk. There we go. There was... Was the... Yeah, back here. There we go. Ooh! I like this wallpaper. I love butterflies. Also, the baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. What? Who did this? I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. I should probably take a really close look around. Indeed! Let me just join you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor too. The windows here have those same metal plates covering them. Yes! All of the money. Okay. Camera. A surveillance camera. They're watching every single move we make. I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. Even if the time was wrong, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. I really don't like that. Uh, anything? Nothing to say on the blackboard, really? Uh, no, 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 I want this way and... There we go. Uh, yeah, it's the TV. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now it's just showing the school crest. Yeah, we've we've read that one. Okie doke. That appears to be everything. Yep, yep. So I am gonna head over to the library so that at the beginning of next episode we can head straight in. But that will have to wait. So, until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.